Hey guys, I'm here with the all new 2023 Lexus RX 350H Hybrid. This is a luxury trim. I'm gonna give you a walk around today. Impressions for driving is embargoed until a little bit later. I believe it's September 9th. But I'm gonna share you guys this amazing RX 350 Hybrid. A brand new hybrid trim for Lexus. We have the silver paint color, triple beams of course. No surprise we see on the luxury trim. All new redesign from the ground up of course, the headlights, but the whole vehicle is now there's a spindle body grill. It's hard to call it the spindle grill because it melds into the body on the front and the top, kind of that paint matched on the top and blends into the bumper here on the side. Fog lines, I believe, are standard on the new RX, even on the base grades. Then we have these huge 21 inch wheels. This is the first time we've seen 21 inch wheels on an RX. The previous model had 20 inch wheels. Uh, this is unique to the luxury grade, mind you, as well. We're gonna take a step back because the new RX is its proportions are different. The rear overhang is much smaller. The wheelbase has grown. I believe it's around 112 inches now. Uh, and overall, it, it does look a little bit bigger, but it's wider and maybe a tad bit shorter than the old model. I mean, we have Lexus typed out here. Instead of the Lexus badge, we're going to the letters now. Uh, RX 350H, no, no blue hints here. That's something Lexus has gone away from with their hybrids. Uh, because hybrids are so standard, or I shouldn't say standard, but so much more common now that they're, they don't need to differentiate it with the blue. All wheel drive, of course, is standard with the hybrid. We also have a tow hitch here, which you can get from the factory as an option as well. We're gonna open up the lift gate here. We have more cargo space than ever before. Of course, an accessory cargo mat here. Here's your first aid kit we always see in Alexis. This has a 1500 watt inverter so this would be great for camping uh, plugging in some additional power accessories this has a mark levinson sound system so we have a speaker here subwoofer we can auto fold down the seats with the flip of a switch They're kind of slow you know <laughs> we'll give it time you can also fold down uh, this middle portion here by itself if you need to might i might have a bag in that seat that's why that's not folding down now i wanted to share how large the lift gate opens on the new rx so i'm six foot one and you can just see how much headspace is here, which is quite incredible. And it, it also opens and closes much quicker than the old models. So it's like three seconds faster opening and closing. Underneath the hood, the engine is off right now. We have uh, some fans blowing in here. This is the all new hybrid system, 246 horsepower, 233 pound feet of torque, estimated MPGs is around 36 miles per gallon. I'll definitely share you uh, with you guys at a later date what my MPGs are. Uh, this is of course all-wheel drive and it is mated to the ECVT system that Toyota hybrids are known and respected for absolutely. You can see this uh, sound deadening material here as well. So it'll be fun to see when I'm able to share my driving impressions is how quite this new 350 hybrid is. One of three new hybrid models for the Lexus RX. This is the 350. There's also going to be a plug-in hybrid available at a later date. Uh, and there'll also be the new 500H F Sport Performance range topping model. Uh, the door here, nice kind of like a suede cloth material that goes around the Mark Levinson speaker here, accented with this brown on the door. And then we have the digital latch. You press this to open the door. And I forgot to show you, these door handles don't move like the new NX. There's a button here, just opens up. In this luxury trim, we have thigh extension here. That is a welcome addition, definitely for the new RX. Um, and then we also have these really nice light colored seats with that cloth suede like material on the outside and even around the headrest. It's very, very nice and premium feeling. We're gonna get on the inside. Listen, that door thud, pretty solid. Uh, I can hear the ventilated seats going. I'm gonna turn that off real quick. 14 inch touchscreen here. We saw this on the NX. You can adjust the climate control here. Everything, heated ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, it's all right here. Uh, and then you also have all these additional uh, adjustments. So this is how you change the driving mode if you want to, et cetera. Change the safety features on here. Uh, the head-up display, we have a large head-up display in here and it is customizable with these buttons. Don't wanna to go too much into it. Um, and you also have these infrared sensors that can pick up your eyes and help with traffic jam assist, for example. So there's a lot of stuff you don't wanna to go too much into other than it's a big jump forward from the touchpad, obviously, in terms of technology. We have a parking feature here, 360 camera, panoramic view monitor, depending on what you wanna call it. Two USB-Cs up front. There's a uh, rubber pad here for your phone. If you are not charging it, uh, via the wireless charger here. You also have more charging pieces down here and a, a more space down there as well as a 12 volt. So the amount of connectivity in here is immense. 
uh, compared to any other Lexus RX in the past. Here's a, a very modest shifter surrounded by this nice wood uh, and we have a soft pad here to kind of buffer your knee to rest against the center console. Cup holders here and we have that carryover adjustable cup holder from the last generation RX. That's a pretty cool feature. Um, we have this wood inlaid onto the dash. We have a two dash or two layer system for the dash. Soft touch here, of course, soft touch on top with that cloth interior uh, trim on top of that that flows into the door. Of course, we have ambient lighting in here as well, the panel roof. We have a soft headliner in here as well. Open up the armrest, which is a, a leather material, similar to this material here on the seat, not the cloth. So it should be fairly durable. I'm, I'm struggling to open it up. There it is, there's the button. And it's like the uh, Lexus LS, I think, that has a by opening uh, arm rest. So you can open it from either side, a good amount of space in here as well. And uh, yeah, the steering wheel, uh, we have some wood here, leather on the outside, of course, it is heated, like I mentioned before. We're gonna get out, get you in the back seat, and just show you the improved leg space here in the new RX. Like I mentioned, it is power folding. That's a, a new feature on the uh, RX, I believe. We have sunshades here in the back of this luxury trim. Uh, and we also have a continuation of the high-end materials here on the door. Now I'm gonna step on the inside and two USB-Cs here, as well as heated and ventilated seats and tri-zone climate control. I don't remember ever seeing that sort of uh, sophistication in the back seat of a Lexus RX before. Soft back to the seats, very luxurious feel. Opening the map pockets on each side, a good view of the panoramic roof. We also have, uh, yes, touch sensitive lights here for your reading. And then if I fold this down, what do we have back here? A good amount of uh, cargo space if you need to hide your phone for whatever reason. Uh, and then a slowly folding out cup holder system. Not very big cup holders, mind you, maybe small water bottles. But I think that's about it. I can't really share with you guys my driving and well, I don't want to roll down the window. <laughs> can't really share with you my driving impressions until the ninth. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, what do you think of this RX 350? Do you like the looks of it, of this new hybrid? I can't wait to share with you guys my, not only driving impressions, but the sophistication of, of this new hybrid system, as well as the fuel economy on the new RX. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And I have a lot more Lexus RX uh, driving impressions, walk-arounds, different trim levels, etc., coming for you guys. This is Lexus' best-selling vehicle, so I'm going to go big with the amount of content I'm sharing with you. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.